For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem that says determine the magnitude of the resultant force and its direction theta measured counterclockwise from the positive x-axis. So basically we're going to add all three forces together. F1, F1 has an x component and a y component. The x component is given by 15 times 4 over 5 times 4 over 5 and it's going towards the negative x direction actually it's going towards the positive because it's going towards the uh, center and it's equal to 12 and the y component is given by 15 times 3 over 5 and it's negative 9 negative because it's going uh, down towards the negative y direction so f1 is equal to 12i minus 9j f2 is 0 in the x because it's not going over uh, neither uh, left nor right and it's going straight up in the y and f3 has an x component and a y component the x uh, component is given by 15 times 4 over 5 and it comes out to be 12 and the y component is 15 times 3 over 5 and it comes out to be positive 9 it's the same vector as this just different directions so 12i plus 9j this is f3 this is f2 this is f1 so you can find the far by simply adding the three forces the x components with the x components and the y with the y and you're gonna get that the resultant force is equal to 24i plus 20j and now you need to find the magnitude the magnitude is given by the square root of the x component square plus the y component square and it is equal to 31.24 and the angle is simply given by the tangent inverse of the y component over the x component and it comes out to be 39 point eight degrees so one point twenty four final answer final answer please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help thank you